Chapter 6, Motherly Advice As they waited for the main course, Elaine spoke. Sybil called. I found out what's eating her. What'd you say? Oh, you know. I do? She could always read him like a book. It's okay, honey. I know. Wheels flying in. They must have got another offer from Loco. But if I know Will, he thinks it's too small. And Sybil just wants to get this over with and doesn't really care about the money. Just as long as I'm around to see some of it. Is that about right? Yeah. What do you think I should do? I don't know, Ma. Well, do you know what they're offering? She wouldn't tell me. I promised everyone I'd keep my mouth shut till we're all together. I told her we'd be going to church and we might not get back till after one, especially if we go out for lunch, because I don't want to bring my gal to the house and get her dragged into our little family melodrama. But she will be stopping in like she usually does Sunday late afternoon, so maybe she can join us for supper then. Of course, I hardly ever get to see Will anymore. And if he does stick around, well, maybe we'll have the whole family for a change. But not Jasper Leland. Please not him, okay, hon? You let him know I said that, okay? Do you think they even care what I think, Ma? She took his hand. Well, I sure do. You know that, right? You're the best mother ever. Well, I'm glad you think so, hon. What was it like when you married Dad? Were your families okay with it? Oh, gosh, no. I kind of wonder why we never hear from them. We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Her face lit up. But honey, I'd like to. That is, if it's something you'd like to know about. I I guess I just kind of have accepted that I won't be around too much longer. And whenever I'm with you, well, it really is the closest thing to heaven for me, this side of the river, and there is nothing. We can't talk about you and me. What was the problem with Dad's family? She lifted her iced tea glass, rubbed the bottom with her napkin, and set it back down. They just didn't understand about love. Now, my folks were a tad better. At least her grandpa was. Mama thought I had plumb lost my mind, that I was just trying to recapture my lost childhood. Because I had married Gary when I was so young, and after she told me not to. Him being such a boozer and womanizer and all. And then from there, I fell straight into the arms of Don, who had all the right moves, but so many issues. And just when I had totally given up, and I just wanted to raise my two kids and do something to serve the Lord. Well, I met your father, and the first time I saw him and heard him sing, kaboom, I used to listen to his tapes every day, and I never thought we'd be together, but I couldn't stop thinking about him. And then I went to see him sing, and he came over for lunch, and that was it. He just loved me the same way that I loved him, right away. And we knew, both of us. It was miraculous. Except for his family? Elaine sighed deeply. Oh, they said I was a brazen hussy who seduced him, and I would for sure chew him up and spit him out, like I did my first two husbands. And the folks at my church said I was ruining his life because I was divorced. And God hates that. Brad stepped around the table and sat next to his mom. Ma? Yes, sweetie? Ma, you're not real big on Allison, are you? Now, why would you think that, hon? You never ask about her. Plus, you seem plenty eager to introduce me to someone else. Wow, you are so bright, sugar. And honestly, sometimes I wonder how I got me such a smart boy. Because the truth is, Brad, I do like her. She's a wonderful girl, bless her heart. But she's just not the right girl for you. I've sort of come to the same conclusion, Ma. I don't want to be mean about it. 
She stuck with me going on three years now. True, but I've never heard you say you want to marry her. Or even just once tell me that you're in love with her. She didn't bail on me when I was in rehab. True, but you can't build a marriage on that. Although gratitude's never a bad thing. She's been playing me off against her boss lately. He practically drools on her. Does that make you jealous? Maybe a teeny bit at first. But mostly it's just annoying. I even find myself thinking if something starts there, I won't have to go through the whole breakup charade. Because I'm way more attracted to someone else. But she's got to be 15 years older than me, at least, with a teenage daughter. Who is she? Her name's Abby. She's a waitress at the hangout. She's just incredible. When she's in the room, Ma, I just can't take my eyes off her. I know the feeling, hon. And it's about the most precious thing in the whole world. To be in love like that when it's two of you. But if it's just you and not the other person, then God help you. Music sets you free.